All right, guys. Out here pulling taps. Just have that at idle. Got my permeate right here. This is back feeding through. Have that valve turned off, it goes to that conductor main. We're doing this one here. So, absolute beautiful day out. Um, ADD kicked in and I kind of got going and I was like, oh man, I, I need to be videoing this. So, already, I have had a very strange issue. And when I am pulling these taps, the end of the spile is breaking off like where the check valve is and staying in the tree i've had two already i i just i've never seen anything like that so that is not ideal so that is another topic i'm going to be discussing with some of the guys at leader when i head out there in a couple weeks um, that should not be happening. There's no excuse for any of that. Um, along with the few issues I had while tapping. So, um, one reason I like to do this is I do believe it helps with sanitation. It is permeate to your H2O, back flushing going through everything, and, uh, I really do think it helps with sanitation. Next thing is I like to back feed pressure and it will show me if there's any leaks that I missed or any other issues. But here's what we're doing, guys. Um, right here, if this come out here, pop a tap. See all that in there? Imagine if this wasn't clear, guys, and uh, replacing your spiles every year. One season. Look at that. So, what I do is, I'll do this one-handed, hang on. Come in, cut this off. This is a short run, but you wait till later in the day and you do this and everything that's in the, the lines are warm and the permeate's cold. But you can tell just by the transparency of it, we're running clear already now because this just goes right down to there. Generally, when you get to this next one, you gotta let what's left in the line from here to wherever it meets come through. But we're already running clear here. Another thing I do is I just touch it real quick. Yeah, that's, that's cold. Then I come and I, this is fun to do and hold. Put it right on there. And then I just keep working my way down. Each, each lateral doing that. And then when I get to the end, I'll go back, shut off my pump. And then about a week from now, I'll come take all these off and just let them hang. And normally what I would do is uh, put a new spile on, but I'm going to the stubbies. So these might sit out here actually for a couple weeks until I get back from out there at the open houses because uh, I'm going to not be replacing my drops or my stubs, I don't know, for the next five, six years, kind of the plan. And I'm going to be going to the adapters. Um, I've been told and I'm hearing that the check valve adapters are 20 times better than 
what I'm dealing with here and I'm not happy with how these are pulling apart when I pull them out of the tree. So <clears throat> that's a bit of a new issue, a weird one at that. Um, I am surprised the heads haven't pulled off. That's what I was expecting because as I was tapping the heads were just bouncing right off after the first tap. That one come out clean. But uh, got a squirrel chew. I'll give it a flex, bend. No water coming out, so it's not through. But come on, focus. Look at the end of this spile, guys. See all that bacteria? This check valve must have been working a little better for some reason because look how clean everything is in there and it's just it's interesting so that's another reason I like to back flush so see you got that stuff sitting in the lines guys I just don't want that sitting out here all season let's cut this one here So this is a bit of a longer run you can just tell it might be harder on video it's it's pretty cloudy right now you can smell it permeate doesn't make bubbles this is making bubbles down there yet just little signs like that is what I look for but uh like I said a lot of guys say this is a waste of time run your operation the way you want to this is what I do, this is what I enjoy. I think this little bit of running this permeate back through is worth it in the long run for bacteria, I, I really do. Another part of my theory with the water sitting in these lines, the permeate for the next couple weeks, it being pure H2O with the sun getting on it and it being hot and everything, I feel like the bacteria and stuff that's in there kind of attaches to the water because it's hungry and then when I come through and just take all these and let them hang it drains all completely out and then just air dries over the rest of the season so that's my theory I don't know if there's anything behind it like I said do what you guys want to do in your sugar bushes what you find necessary I don't really think there's a right or wrong way do what you want to do but like I said I'm in here yeah, this is real fun to do with one hand. There you go. Put it on there and on to the next one. I do try to make sure they seal. So, this is what I do. This is what I'm going to be doing. No reason to keep on videoing. Uh, if I find another spile that the tip just breaks off, um, I will show you guys that. Um, there's like obviously that much of the spile left two inches in the tree because that's how deep I'm tapping. Uh, better than metal, but still not ideal. I, I rather than coming out with a god darn drill and drilling that plastic out, I don't know how you do it, and that is not ideal either. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna keep with it, and if I find an issue with the spile or anything, I will video it and show you. Alright guys, just pulled this spile out. Broke off in the tree, just the tip. Just where the check valve area is. This is like the fourth or fifth one. They're quality control, man. I'm telling you, I... These things work, but they gotta figure some stuff out. So I decided to video this one. I've had a, about 10 of these do this as I pulled them, where the check valve isn't quite sealing. And what I notice on those, which I'm really curious, I'm going to be reaching out on this one 
because see how we'll call it the barrel is clean but in between the check valve and in the tree there is a lot of bacteria guys and I don't like that that is pretty counter productive to what these are supposed to be doing and what I feel they are doing but I'm gonna say 80% of the spiles I have pulled have a lot of bacteria between the check valve and the tree and the barrels are clean interesting very very interesting guys I'm gonna be asking some questions here on this Frustrated guys, frustrated. I'm gonna be setting these down on somebody's desk out in Vermont. This one's not broke, the check valve's just not working at all. And another one. It's all the way in the forward position. It's not stuck back. It's just not sealing. This one has a lot of bacteria just in the end. Like I've been seeing, not so much in the barrel. Interesting. Oh, look at here. We got another one that broke off in the tree. And this one decided to come off and go every which way and get me. Not real impressed, leader. Not real impressed right now. What? How's it going? Not so good. What's what's the problem? That thing is a meanie. There you go. Try it now. You got it. Yeah. All right, go to the next one. Got some help out here today, guys. You got these two by yourself. Good job, honey. All right, Abigail, what are we doing? The very last one. I can do it. All right, get it, girl, get it. Hang on, because it's, it's up there. All right, here, let me help you. I'll lift you up. All right. Push. You got it. High five, girl. That's awesome. I don't have it. Okay, you know what to do, don't you? I don't have it. Yes, you do. I do not. All right, show them what to do. <laughs> yeah. I'll pull it down for you. Hang on. And just cut this one right off. Great job, baby. <laughs> Pick up the spile. And that's it. We're done out here. Great job, honey. Did you have fun? Did you have fun today? Huh? Yeah. And then next guy, put it through that red thing. Put it on the red thing? Yeah. Like that? 
Whoa. Nope. Like that? What in the world we got going on? Like that. Yep, and that's how you do it for Abigail and David's show. <laughs> Subscribe our channel. Look on YouTube. Bye. How is she better at that stuff than me, guys? Well, guys, I could have planned this again if I wanted to. Check this out. There's like a half inch in there. <laughs> Good deal. Glad that's over. I'm out here untapping. Look at this. Can't get my phone wet. But here's one that I missed. It's causing a leak. It's got one of those pinholes in the back of the head. Absolutely ridiculous leader. All right. No offense. But 2024 syrup season, you were not one to write home about, and I'm glad you're over. That's it, guys. That's it.